Chelsea responded to their disappointing result on Christmas Eve with a 2-1 win over Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Mikhailo Mudrik latched onto Malo Gusto's pass to open the scoring in the 13th minute, but Michael Oles struck back in stoppage time of the first half. Stream on ESPN Plus, La Liga, Bundesliga and more, US. Nicholas Jackson thought he had scored but was caught marginally offside, although the winner still came as Noni Madueke won a penalty from Eberechi Ease and showed the confidence to convert it. The three points lifted the Blues above AFC Bournemouth and into 10th place. After being so wasteful against Wolves and having to wait until the 96th minute for their goal, it was an encouraging sign that Chelsea scored 13 minutes into proceedings. In addition to scoring that goal, Mudrick was one of the wide men involved in the team's exciting attacking play while they were dominant in the first half. While the second period was disappointing as a whole, Chelsea at least looked solid defensively for most of it. Most importantly of all, they won their final home match of 2023. The Blues got off to a poor start in both halves. Even when they were on top in the first period, Chelsea could be guilty of slowing things down unnecessarily at times. Although far worse than that, they conceded at the very end of the first half despite their dominance. They then carried nowhere near the same attacking threat for most of the second half. Mauricio Pochettino, 7. There was so much encouragement to take from the first half, although Pochettino's side went in level at the break after conceding late on. His big call was arguably to start Ian Motson in the absence of Cole Palmer and Raheem Sterling, with the 21-year-old going on to have a minimal impact. His substitutions paid off as Madueke won and converted the winning penalty, while he was booked in added time. GK George Petrovic, 6, looked confident with the ball at his feet but there was nothing he could do for Palace's equaliser. Tipped shots from Jean-Philippe Mateta and Oles wide and did well to hold an effort from the latter in added time. DF Malo Gusto, 8, looked brilliant in both his attacking and defensive play. In defense, the Frenchman put in a great tackle to deny Jordan Ayew, while he continued his run and put the chance on a plate for Mudrick's opener. DF Axel de Sassi, 6, played some poor passes to put his team under unnecessary pressure but largely looked confident in his defensive play. Did enough to stop Ease's shot from troubling Petrovic. DF Benoit Badiashile, 6, after doing well to stop Mateta running through on one occasion, he got too tight and was spun as the striker carved out a chance for himself and seemed to struggle against him after that.